This year saw fires, heat waves and floods around the world. And it's ending with a heat wave spanning half of Australia. 2023 has shown the rapidly warming future climate scientists have warned us about is well and truly here. We've been warming about these sorts of changes and these sorts of rates of warming for really the last 20, 30 years. So it's really no surprise that we are hitting these global warming thresholds. Now the European Union's Copernicus Climate Change Service declared 2023 the hottest year on record, a month ahead of schedule. The lines on this chart show how much each year since the 1940s has been warmer or cooler than the average from before the Industrial Revolution. This year, every month since June has broken records. Until now, 2016 was the hottest year, but 2023 has so far smashed that record and brought the Earth a hair's breadth from the 1.5 degree warming limit the world agreed to in 2015. When the Paris Agreement was put together, it was considered a safe level of global warming. But we've basically reached that level in less than a decade. The El Nino weather pattern has contributed to those temperatures, but it's only been in full swing for a few months, leaving the burning of fossil fuels largely to blame. The IPCC findings are, are quite clear that uh, uh, to stabilise the climate at uh, any level requires reaching net zero emissions. Well, I mean, we've had the hottest day, we've had the hottest month, we've had the hottest week, we've had the hottest month after the hottest month, and that underpins the need for more action. We can't wait domestically, we can't wait internationally. The results come as the UN COP28 climate talks in Dubai enter their second week. Key on that agenda is whether to phase out coal, oil and gas or not. A question made all the more urgent by this extraordinary heat record. Michael Slezak, ABC News.